Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's person of interest is Kanze Dena. Kanze Dena is the State House spokesperson and the head of the Presidential Strategic and Communication Unit, PSCU. Dena is a former Swahili news anchor, producer and director at Citizen TV. Kanze anchored alongside Lulu Hassan on Citizen Pashe and Citizen Weekend that airs at 7 p.m. Give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for other interesting videos. This is the only platform whereby you can get information of celebrities that you have never heard before. Kanze Dena was born in 1980 in Kuala County. She is 39 years of age as of 2019. Kanze Dena is the fourth born in a family of six children. Kanze had her first daughter Natasha but she died at three months old. She was later blessed with a handsome son, Amani. Her mother was diagnosed with cancer while she was eight months pregnant. Her mother had her first surgery when Kanze was giving birth. One year down the line, her mother died. Kanze Dena was a student at Foundation College of Professional Studies where she pursued journalism and mass communication. She was a secondary school student at Kieni Girls Secondary School. She was also a primary school student at Kianjokoma, now St. Matthew. Kanze Dena got married to Nick Mararo on 2nd March 2019 at Old Pejeta Conservancy in Lake Ipia County. Not much is known about her husband, whom we understand is the CEO of New Vision Media, and how long they have dated as they kept their relationship off media. They exchanged vows at about 1 p.m. against the rustic and serene grounds in the shadow of Mount Kenna. So discreet was the planning that insiders at Olpejeta said that, that they were not aware whom, whose wedding it was until they saw them. They had previously been told that the president and other top government officials were attending a wedding, but the names of the bride and groom were deliberately left out. Citizen TV anchors Lulu Hassan, her husband Rashid Abdallah and Waiga Mwahura were among the invited guests. Let's look at the 10 facts you didn't know about Kanze Dena. Number 1. She has three names, Kellen Beatrice Kanze Dena. Number 2. She was born to Duruma parents, a community in Kuala County. Number three, she was brought up by a single mother after her father left when she was four years old. Number four, she grew up in both Nairobi and Mombasa. Number five, she schooled in M1, specifically Kenny Girls High School. Number six, she greatly suffered from low esteem because she was bow-legged and had a protruding tummy and boobs at a tender age. She was looked down upon because of this. Number seven, she is a natural actress could act very well when in high school and after high school. Number eight, her low self-esteem forced her to start drinking alcohol. Number nine, she worked as a waitress after high school and in the process got pregnant. Number ten, she later enrolled for a secretariat course but hid the pregnancy from her mother. It was until when she delivered at Pumwani that her mother was informed about the world pregnancy issue and her mother happily came to see her and her baby. With a broad smile on her face, great composure and confidence, she greets her viewers. Hujambo mtazamadi, popote pale ulipo, na shukran sana kwa kujumuika nasi kwenye nipashe weekendi, mimi naitua Kanze Dena. What is unfamiliar to many is that this gorgeous news personality put up a long and spirited fight against low self-esteem and other internal battles to her way to being the strong, phenomenal woman she is today. She confessed, and I quote, I was brought up in two different places because my mom worked in Mombasa and Nairobi. Most of the times I would go to school in Nairobi and go to Mombasa for holidays. Let's look at Kanze Dena's job history. Her stint as journalism began at Kenya Broadcasting Corporation as an intern, honing her skills as a radio reporter. While at KBC, she had her second child. Misfortune would kick in a year later when her mother died of cancer. Much has changed since then. She is now married with co-parenting with the father of her six-year-old son. In her new role, she will take over the leadership of digital, messaging, research, branding and press at State House. Kanze Dena's very tearful exit of Citizen TV was definitely tears of joy, seen as blessings are definitely pouring on her way. Following her promotion to Deputy State House spokesperson, she will take on the role of communication teams, mainly the President's brand positioning, media relations and messaging for the delivery of, of the Big Four agenda. This big, this big job comes hand in hand with a youth bank account whereby she will now be earning an astounding net salary of 800000 per month. Of course, there is a medical cover, house allowance and security details alongside the other benefits. 
We, know, we honestly cannot wait for Kanze to do a great job just as she has always done throughout her career. With the kind of good work she did at Citizen TV, no doubt she will give her best in the state house. Let's look at Kanze dinner issue with low self-esteem. If you have low self-esteem, pay more attention here since this part will be more helpful to you. Kanze Dena confessed that she had low self-esteem while in her teen years. It all started while she was in primary school and she noticed that her legs were bored and this tormented her. While she started developing her boobs and she adopted a stoop to hide her growing breast since the other girls had not yet started to develop and the boys were looking at her and laughing. After high school, she started taking alcohol as a way to fit in and here she got pregnant with her first kid. The baby died after three months and this saw her into depression. She contemplated suicide while her firstborn kid died and she wrapped her head with a nylon plastic bag so that she would suffocate and die but, un but fortunately her mother came along. In another incident, she contemplated suicide for the third time while she was on a retreat in Mombasa. She thought that she would sit in the ocean and wait for the waves to come along and drown. But let's say that God was on our side since she managed to overcome all the evil thoughts. Beatrice Kanze Dena is among the first names that will come to any Kenyan's mind when you ask them to name some of the best news anchors they know. Her pose and appeal alongside mastery of the Swahili language have made her a dominant figure in broadcast media. However, Kanze has not always been as self-assured as she seems. According to the now acting state house spokesperson, fighting boys and arguing with her mother was a part of her daily life. She confessed and I read, I was a very naughty girl. I also used to fight a lot with boys in school. I was always fighting with my mother that is having an argument. We could never see each other eye to eye. The arrogance faded with time as it is expected of every young girl maturing into womanhood and this TV queen has excelled in almost every aspect of her life. Kanze Dena was admitted at the Foundation College of Professional Studies where she pursued a degree in journalism and mass communication. However, before joining the learning institution, Kanze was hell-bent on being a nurse, just like her aunt in Nairobi. While working on her part-time job, Kanze met a man and fell in love. However, a few months after impregnating the former news anchor, the man vanished, never to be seen again. She emotionally recalled and I read, My mother wanted me to be a journalist, but I wanted to be like my aunt, who was a nurse, Naret Dena. I got pregnant while working at a fast food cafe in town, that is Nairobi, well known as a Vespa. After getting pregnant, I was forced to go back home and take care of my pregnancy. While at home, I got an opportunity to join college to do a short IT course at Mosongari. All this time, I was carrying my pregnancy in privacy. Only one of my very close friends knew I was pregnant because I had gone with her for crisis pregnancy at Pumwani. Kanze Dena was afraid that her mother would find out about the pregnancy and convinced the family of her need to stay in a hostel. However, during the time of her pregnancy, she ended up trusting her friend who partially kept her secret until the baby was born. She confessed and read, Being my first time pregnancy, I did not know what to do, so I lied to my mother that I have to go back to the hostels and do some laundry. Reaching the hostel, I talked to my friend and we took a taxi to Pumwani. Kanze Dena had decided to give the baby away for adoption after birth, but the nurse in charge of delivery left for another emergency. The male doctor in charge of delivery, Natasha, Kanze Dena's first child, knew nothing about the mother's wish to give up the baby for adoption. The result was a bond between mother and child, and when Kanze's mother found out that her daughter was pregnant and had given birth in secret, she was in tears. Much has changed since then. She is now married whilst co-parenting with the father of her six-year-old son. In her new role, she will take over the leadership of digital, messaging, research, branding and press at State House. Kanze Dena's very tearful exit of Citizen TV was definitely tears of joy, seen as blessings are definitely pouring on her way. Following her promotion to Deputy State House spokesperson, she will take on the role of communication teams, mainly the President's brand positioning, media relations and messaging for the delivery of, of the Big Four agenda. This big, this big job comes hand in hand with a youth bank account whereby she will now be earning an astounding net salary of 800,000 per month. Of course, there is a medical cover, house allowance and security details alongside the other benefits. We, know, we honestly cannot wait for Kanze to do a great job just as she has always done throughout her career. With the kind of good work she did at Citizen TV, no doubt she will give her best in the state house. 
thank you for watching if you have learned something new kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified immediately we post such interesting videos thank you for watching if you have learned something new kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified immediately we post such interesting videos